I'm going to be talking to you today about the simple running suture. So you're going to enter the skin at 90 degrees on one side. You're going to traverse through. You're going to come out at a certain depth through the dermis around to the other side and basically directly across the wound at the same depth. Now the important distances here are the distance from the skin edge to your entry and exit points and remember to exit at 90 degrees as well as well as the depth within the skin that you take the bite should be the same on both sides. So if we go to the second cartoon we've already gone across on our first bite we're going to traverse across onto our second bite we enter at 90 degrees in the, into the skin and we're going to come out at the same distance uh, into the dermis that you came out on the first bite as you can see here we're going to traverse and then come out equidistant on the counter side. Now just like it was important to have the distances from the skin edge and the depth as I show here it's also important to have distance between the sutures because as you progress you want some equally spaced uh, uh, suture points between the bites. Now you've progressed down the wound um, you, you want to make sure that you have equal tension on these because they're going to want to loosen up so you provide equal tension. So the keys for a great closure are an excellent deep dermal suturing. Exit and enter the skin at 90 degrees. Be very gentle with the forceps. You should have no marks on the skin. Suture spacing. Remember, approximate the skin. Don't strangulate the skin. And then equal tension across the incision. So here we are in a live patient. I've already put in the deep dermis. As you can see, the skin edges are well brought together. I take my simple bite across. I'm equidistant on both sides. And I'm, as you notice, I'm not fighting the needle. This is a 5-0 nylon, and I'll put five uh, throws in the knot. But I'm not fighting the needle. I'm not twisting the wrist, and I'm not twisting the tissue. And that's very important, because every time you fight the skin, you're going to damage the skin further than you need to. So as I prepare to take my second bite, I'll present the skin to myself. And here I'm lifting the skin up to meet my needle at 90 degrees. I'll be patient, I'll traverse, I'll pull out equidistant. And the needle will just sit there. If you've placed the needle properly, it just sits there. And you come back and you rotate your wrist to get that needle to come out of the skin smoothly. As I progress to my next bite, same thing. Gently present the skin to itself, enter at 90 degrees. I'm cheating somewhat because I'm lifting the skin to where my needle would meet it at 90 degrees. But as you can see, there's good suture spacing. I'm not too far from the skin edge or too close. I make sure that there's equal tension by pulling up on the previous loop. And I like simple interrupted better than having a locking stitch uh, so that you can adjust the tension across the wound. As I make my spacing again, I'll pass through one side, same depth, out onto the other side. I'll let go of the needle, pass through, check my tension, pull down tight. And it's just a repeating of this as you progress um, down through the, the skin. And generally I sew from away from myself toward myself. And one final throw here. Through and across. And notice, no, um, I'm very gently lifting the skin up with my small forceps. These are 0 0.3 forceps. And here I am at the final edge of the wound. I'll take one more bite again. Uh, here I'm cheating a little bit. I can pull up on the suture as I get toward the end. I can pull up just on the leading suture edge and come straight across as you develop the tension across the suture all the way down. I'll do five throws and then I'll go back and check my tension on all the stitches. I'll make sure the skin edges are well approximated and averted. You can see that this wound is slightly averted, which is what you want to get a nice healing wound. And anything that's not sitting up properly, I'll go back and make sure it's aligned.